freedom from realities you dislike. Posted on September 5th, 2011. When you find yourself in the presence of a manifested reality that you dislike, it's an indication of a belief or thought in you that is contradicting your true nature. Since your true nature is rooted in love and abundance, any thought in you that is rooted in hatred, fear, or lack will cause the attraction of a reality that you dislike. You can only like a reality that is based in peace, love, joy, and abundance because this is the very nature of the conscious energy that you are. As a human being, it's possible for you and is inherently your power to exist in a reality that you don't dislike even if you have desires of manifesting more things. To exist in a reality that you dislike is an indication that you have certain negative vibrations dominant in you owning to certain thoughts and beliefs. You can be free from such negative realities by identifying the patterns of negative thought in you and thus releasing belief in it. Ending the cycle of manifesting undesired realities. Every negative reality that you are privy to is attracted by a negative thought within you. A lot of people state firmly that they can only think positive when they are in the midst of a positive reality and that it's not humanly possible to think positively when you're in the midst of a reality that seems to reflect lack, hate, and fear. And yet, it's actually the presence of a negative vibration in you that attracted a negative reality. And by, focus on neg by focusing on negative thoughts, you only keep recreating the cycle of manifesting undesired realities. The only way to break free from the cycle of undesired realities is to make a conscious choice of not identifying with negative thinking, even when you are in the midst of an undesired reality. This requires a conscious commitment to staying disidentified with negative thinking, which may not be too easy initially, because till now you are in the habit of dwelling on negative thoughts in response to your undesired reality. A human being who is not conscious of the mechanism behind creation of realities would, unconsciously, be stuck in undesired realities by constantly giving energy to negative thinking instigated by observing the undesired reality. It takes a conscious human being to break this cycle by consciously disidentifying with negative thinking of the mind. Negative thinking serves no purpose. It's a huge revelation when you realize that nothing is served through negative thinking. In fact, it's counterproductive because it has a tendency to attract further negative realities. In other words, all the different ways in which we think through the lens of fear and lack, like complaining, feeling guilty, arguing, worrying about the future, resenting the past, criticizing and fuming, serve no purpose in changing the negativity in your reality. It's just wasted time and energy. Not only that, these negative thinking patterns also fuel the attraction of more unwanted circumstances in your life, so it's just a double whammy. So when you realize that negative thinking serves no purpose, why exactly would you still give credence to negative thoughts? It's either because it's a habit you're not willing to let go of, or because you feel more at home with negativity. It's true that there are many people who find security in their negativity, and feel vulnerable about letting go of their negative thinking patterns. You most often see such people defending their right to think negatively with all their might. This is a quirk of the mind, because the mind would rather stick with the familiar patterns of thinking than make a leap into a new way of perceiving reality. But if you are committed to making a positive shift in your reality, you will not hide behind excuses and be resolute in your stand to no longer give credence to negative thinking.